Hi guys, it's Blackie. Okay, today in the Being Sneaky series, I'm going to show you something that has multiple uses. Now, I've already showed this in earlier videos of one. I showed how this was used to hang my hammock of making a set of paracord with a series of knots and using that to hang hammock stuff like that. And oh, by the way, I'm out behind the shooting range again, so you're going to hear some shooting in the background. It's okay. They're not aiming at me. We're good. Next. Um, but this time I'm going to be using it out of bank line. Now, this is multi-use in many different ways, not just in creating a quick stealth shelter, but as a way to carry loads and things like that. And in my previous video, which I'll put a link to up here, where I talked about that, We'll talk about how this design works so well for multiple functions. But for today, what we're going to talk about is it's something you usually carry in your haversack. Now, we're, what we've got is bank line, okay? Now, let's talk about how this is made right quick. You're going to take a length. What I did was I simply unspiraled it out to maximum reach like that and did it five times, okay? The size you will figure out on your own, whatever is best for you, whether you're in a place where you need longer or you can get away with shorter. But once you learn how to make the first one, the rest is easy. But you measure out a length of cord, whatever you want. I started with five lengths, okay? Then I'm gonna cut it off, I'm gonna tie a knot in both ends. And then I'm going to divide it in half and find, so I'll grab those two ends, and I will go till I find the center, okay? Then I will tie a knot. Now the knot is simply this. You take your finger, wrap it around your finger, stick it through that hole you just made, like that, pull. That's how you make the knot, it's just an overhand loop, that's what it is. So I will start close to that edge, leaving me a little bit of loop, and then I'm gonna space out. I'm gonna come out however far I want, Wrap it around my finger, go back through the hole, pull it together. And this sets up a chain where I've got two knots and then I've got a loop between them, okay? Now, you do that the full length of your cord and when you get to the end of it, you tie off a knot. And what you end up with is this something that I can easily carry in a pocket. All it is is that long cord and a series of loops, okay? Now, let's talk about this shelter use right quick for the stealth angle. The stealth angle is this wads up to that. This can easily be carried in a shirt pocket. I want to create a game blind, let's say. I come in here on my scout and I stop here and I realize that I've got the junction of three or four good trails right here. And I want to quickly erect some sort of blind, okay? I will take this, rig it up between the two trees and then set my brush into it like I'm about to show you. I can do it in a matter of 10, 15 minutes and have a blind that I can set behind for hunting, okay? For stealth camping, I want to do the same idea, but I want to turn it into a, uh, a hide, someplace I can go to, relax or whatever, get out of sight. Well, location, location, location. I'm going to be down yonder. I'm going to be 20, 30 yards, 40 yards, 50 yards off the trail, depending on my covering time of year. So that when I erect this up, set it up, it's out of sight. So I'm going to then put my brush into it to create it and create a shelter that completely hides me so that I can go in there, enter that, and I'm just gone. I'm out of sight, I'm out of mind. Somebody's got to be very close to even recognize I'm there, okay? Third use of this is for a debris hut, right quick, where I'm going to refine this a little bit, and I will show this technique in a minute. But I'm going to tie it between two trees, and I'm going to stick a stick in, and I'm going to flip it to the far side. Then I'm going to stick a stick in this way, and I'm going to flip it to the far side. Stick one in this way, flip it, this way. and so I'm tying it, see, and torquing it. And I will demonstrate that in just a second. 
this makes the ribs of a shelter very quickly. You know, put them all together, pile debris up on top of it, leaves whatever, you're done. It's very, very fast without all that intricacy and et cetera. And because when you built a lot of debris shelters, and believe me, I built quite a few of them, um, one of the major problems is you go to get your ribs standing up there, you're leaning on a ridge pole, you lashed in or whatever, and they always want to slide. So when you go to piling your debris on, it slides off and et cetera. This anchors it without having to go and tie a bunch of knots. I can easily recover this as well because when it's time to go, I can just flip all my stuff out and recover this without ever having to do anything with it. So, enough talk. Let's set, start setting it up and show how this simple little addition to your kit can be great for being sneaky, for stealth, and for a quick carry, quick option, and a quick shelter setup. This is what we're going to go with. So, let's do it. Okay, I'm starting with my cordage, open it up. I'm gonna go to my first tree. I'm gonna open up the end loop. I'm gonna go around the tree. I'm gonna pass the rest of it through that loop. And I'm gonna set this up at about waist high. Okay. Now I'm gonna come to my other tree. I'm gonna go around the tree. I'm going to come between two loops, pull it up snug, Snug, not blood tight. Snug, there's a reason. Wrap it over and around two or three times. Go through the center. Come back up. And then pass it between any two loops. Take a stick off the ground. Stick it in that loop. And we have a toggle set up just like that fairly loose there's a reason now if we're making a debris shelter okay I'm gonna take my stick whatever it is I'm gonna pick one of them whichever one I want to start with open it up I'm gonna stick the stick through it like two inches I'm going to flip it to the far side, just like that. It'll stand up. Now I take my next stick and go the opposite direction. I take my stick, I go to the next one or the one beside of it, whatever I want to do. I hook it and I roll it toward me. Notice as that's doing it, it's winding, tightening up the rope. All I do is stick it between them, like this. No, oh, that's not right. Stick it between them like that. Roll it over toward me, just like that. Once I get several, I can pull in a little bit and let it push the cord up, okay? Now, I'm gonna go through and add some more sticks. Be right back. Now once you've got a few ribs going, stick one in and go diagonal. Now listen, observe nature. A tree, due to gravity, all the limbs are curving up or curving down, depending on the type of tree. So that if you're trying to make this look for stealth, like a naturally fallen tree, make all the limbs lay in one direction. So it looks like a tree fell over. Don't have them going every which way, that'll attract attention. I want it to look like a tree. Now this right now is just bare ribs. In a minute, I'm gonna take leafy stuff and pile up on top of it to help camouflage it, give it depth. But right now, it's simply started. So I'm gonna take a smaller limb, and I'm gonna come, again, same technique. I'm gonna push it between them. I'm gonna roll it, but this time I'm gonna cross it over the top. See, everything should be going that way. Because that's the way I want it to look like. I want it to be a random looking, like a tree fell over on a, a wood pile, a brush pile. A brushy top snapped off in a storm and bent down a tree. Something like that. That's the visual clue that I'm going for. Okay? 
Now let me start adding some green stuff to this to give it depth and to better camouflage it. Be right back. Okay, I want you to see a little bit better. See what I'm doing is I'm spreading out the loops and sticking it through. So as I bring this one in where I want it to be, let's say right here, all I gotta do is just hook it underneath like that and they lock together this way. As I keep sticking more and more brush up here, it hooks together with this and I can come right here, open this up and now put a stick or two through here. And I keep adding sticks through this to keep adding the ridge, adding more and more to the top, breaking up the line. Okay, now, as I've got a basis, this will be good for a hunting blind. It would break up my silhouette. It's 3D. I have stuff sticking out here closer to the camera. I have a layer even deeper in there. Now, all I gotta do is take a few leaves, and I'll just kick up some right quick for a demonstration. Just take a handful and do this. Start taking handfuls here or there. Don't get them all out of the same spot. Come up a couple of yards out, throw them up. Let them rain down so it looks natural. There are leaves hanging all over. It's brown, it's green. It's all kinds of colors. Also, to break up that top silhouette, I want that top to look more natural. I'm gonna take one I'm going to come in here like this, and I'm going to push it just like that, so it's vertical. See, now it looks more with that. Now it's catching light. It's catching everything. So that vertical up there, six, seven, eight feet, looks more like a tree sitting there, doesn't it? I'm blending in my terrain, blending in my environment. And all it's going to take is just a piece of string, a few minutes, and a few leaves in here and there. That's it. Now, this has created a blind. Keep adding to it, and I've created a blind. And let me show you from the back side. Okay, as you see, it's still my cord right here. This one, take it, flip it over the top. I got this entire area underneath here that I can sit down and lay down in. Whatever I need to do. Now, as this weight gets more, this is going to become a sag just a little bit. That core is going to pull tighter and tighter and tighter as I keep throwing debris on top of it. See? And let me enhance it a little bit more. Okay. It's what amount of effort you put into it is what it's going to be used for. I pull this cord out of my pocket. I sling it between two trees. I only need camouflage from that angle. So I put it to this side. So by just running the, between two trees, hooking, folding it over. Go between the cord, fold it over until I got a tight ridge up there of ribs holding up. It can't fall on their own. Then I add depth to it by putting loose tops, ends, and whatever. Then I put green in front of it, and I throw a few pine, le uh, pine straw and a little bit of leaves on top of it and let it filter down into it. Okay? This is perfectly adequate for a blind to hunt out of. If it's down there in that bottom and I put a little bit more effort and it's to both sides, and it becomes a stealth hide. I can go underneath it, lay down, take a nap, whatever I want to do, and be out of sight. Add a little bit more each time until it becomes where you have to be just feet away to see the thing. You know, because it's blended into the environment. It looks natural. And especially if I create it today, the leaves falling and everything, every day it looks more and more natural, doesn't it? And so I blend it in, okay? Now using the same technique, but I'm going to make it into a debris hut. I run the rib and I just get my sticks, cut down saplings or whatever, and I, here's the line, I stick it, 
flip it this way. Then I stick one, flip it that way. And I alternate all the way down that line and that forms my ribs that I'm then just gonna kick leaves and debris up over. And poof, I got a debris shelter in minutes. For me to do this blind right here took about 15 minutes or less, to be honest. Because all I had to do was pick the spot, run the line. I had resources I could just grab and throw up there. And I could take my kukri or my saw and go around. I know I said don't use kukris, but you know what I mean. Go around and take my saw and take a few green here or there to do this. Now let me get on the back side of it and sit down. Even though, you know, I'm going to cover up my face. So why do we carry these? Watch. Okay, I come in behind, and I pick my nice comfy spot. I usually have me a tree back here if I needed it. See that old white hair moving around back there? Quick little bandana, like that, hat on top. A little bit of stuff on the bottom, tuck my arms in. If I sit still, can you see me? How about if I move really, really slow? And yet, I could easily slide the barrel of a gun out right here for hunting. That would not be difficult. Because this quick blind, this cord that someone in my comments last time called them jungle knots. That sounds like a good enough answer to me. I always just use it as the stuff that I hung my hammocks with and I carried loads with. And I just called it a series of knots. We'll call it jungle knots. And so by generating jungle knots like that, bring it out here and quickly just... Hooking it up with a toggle, no knots. Pass it through itself around the tree, go to the other end, pass it through itself, put a stick in there as a toggle. Leave it a little loose. Because every time I put a stick and turn it, it's pulling that knot tighter and tighter because I'm torquing it, see, in opposite directions. And now because of that, I've got a blind I can easily get behind and just be gone. Really quick. As long as I sat still, and if I put it where I got me a big tree to my back, where I'm just leaning back against that tree, and I can look out to hunt, to see, to observe. It's an observation post that I get to look for whatever resource I'm out here to gather. It's also a place where I could set up a retreat by just adding a little. Without having to do a lot of knot tying or anything else. If I had to walk away and leave it, what have I lost? A piece of paracord. That's it. I mean, a piece of paracord or a piece of bank line. That's it. The rest of the stuff I found on it. No big expenditure of time or effort. The whole thing was creating it. And again, can I use that to haul out a deer? Yes, I can process meat like I showed in that earlier video and make me a stick for a hod and carry out a large, not a large amount of game or something on that rope, on that cord. I can use it for quick shelters that I can set up like this for hunting blinds. I can set it up for a debris shelter, just carrying it in my haversack for multi-uses. All I got to do is run up between two trees and start sticking sticks in and letting them bind and lock together. No knots to tie. No worry about it sliding off. So I can put it up there. And if I have a quantity of available green sticks that I can cut quickly for a debris shelter, I can stick and bend, stick and bend until I make like that, where it's almost like a pup tent and then just pile a mound of debris on it. And there's no danger of the top collapsing because that 300 pound test cord is gonna hold it. And since I don't have to, I can have the ends of the stick sticking up like that. I can go into that cord a little bit more. I got some up here to help hold pine straw and stuff on top. And I can make me a debris shelter quickly. So, in conclusion, it's a jungle knot. Very simple, very easy. All you've got to do is take a piece of bank line and create it. That's it. You then, once you've got it, get that arm out of there. 
once you've got it created like this, where it's a series of those knots, there's many, many uses for this. I can go around a tree and go through itself to anchor something. I can take this and put it between and put debris in it only to one side to make a blind. I can go to both sides to make a debris shelter. I can put it down kind of low, fill it in really well, quietly, and then pile up a big old mound, and then like this, put stuff up there to give it depth. I don't want a flat face, we, we think of like shingles. I want it four, five, six feet of stuff coming forward. Loose, little light stuff like this. It's all angled in one direction, so it looks like a tree down, just a tree top. That blends into your environment. So that when I look down there, it looks natural. Take the handful of, of leaves and pine straw and just throw it up in there and let it settle wherever it wants to coming down through it. And that will help camouflage it even better. Hope you enjoyed this, guys. Please leave any questions or comments below. And thank you very much for supporting my channel. Till next time, guys, I'm Blackie wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.